uh, this video is completely focused on uh, universal allocations as you know that uh, we used to do uh, allocations in our ECC systems however now s hana has introduced a concept called universal allocations and I'll explain you the functionality why it is needed what are the benefits uh, so that you understand the end-to-end -end functionality yeah so let's go ahead so what is universal allocation exactly we are talking about? So with this feature, you can allocate and distribute overhead from one object to another or more. For example, the cost incurred at cost center that provided scenario services for other cost center that can be charged on to the requesting cost center by means of overhead allocations. A very basic example, uh, which I, I always use in my previous experience is facility cost, electricity cost, for example. An organizational, for example, head office electricity cost being used by electricity is not something being used by organization. It is being used by the different departments. So we say, okay, finance, HR and marketing. Let's assume very, very basic three departments are sitting in head office of the company. Electricity cost is, uh, let's say, 1,000 for yeah, 12,000 euros a month. And then we divide that 12,000 euros into... Uh, different uh, departments and we allocate that cost cost to different charge cost centers so when the original bill comes we book it at facility cost but at the month end based on the employee proportion for example finance might have 10 employees and uh, hr might have five employees so we allocate with this proportion uh, and based on what marketing employees how many employees are there in marketing department we allocate that cost into finance marketing and hr department so at the end uh, the facility cost will be zero and uh, operational cost centers of these finance marketing and HR will receive that cost at the month end. So that's allocations. What is the prob problem statement that came to the requirement of universal allocation? Complex organizational struggle. Uh, this ha has been taken being from SAP. Uh, this is one of the very nice uh, detail which SAP provided. Uh, of course, you know, high number, complex organizational setup complex knowledge, dynamic organizational boundaries, long cycle time. And uh, from analysis perspective, there was no traceability, who was billed originally, who was allocated, how do amounts are flowing in the cycles. When we say cycle, we used to call it assessment and distribution cycle. What are the tracing factors? Uh, how are we tracing? For example, I gave an example of uh, uh, employees. So those are the statistical key figures. Why I'm accountable for this? So if I re finance receive the cost, of uh, let's say 500 euros from that uh, 12 uh, or let's say 1200 euros uh, out of uh, out of that then finance says okay why why the cost is coming to my cost center what is the detail give me those details and then how would the result look in case we merge two legal entities of course you know now i just gave you a very simple example in finance marketing and hr now i assume there are multiple uh, legal entities sitting in that head office but the finance is being taken care by one uh, by is also supported uh, or a shared service scenario in that case who, which entity will take two how can i reduce my cost if i merge the entity so all those permutations combinations are taken care by this uh, that was a big miss and of course limited standard reporting erp transactions only based on one cycle at a time so those were the key motivations of coming up with universal allocations what are the features uh, with new universal allocation in s features are it includes plan and actual data. I can say my plan is 1000 euros for electricity and I'm taking one very, very basic example of 1000 euros. It, it goes into, you know, numerous uh, issues and combinations and you know, uh, the structural design. Uh, then actual data. What is my planning? What is my actual? I can do that comparison. Of course, multiple reporting currencies. I am reporting in euro, but my my US and people from a uh, US entity uh, also are there. So I might need to de have different currencies. I can simulate. I can say, okay, with current cost, what is my, my predictive accounting? Extendable, I can extend it based on my, my requirement. Traceability of value flow. How much is flowing from which cost center? Who is the uh, sender? Who is the receiver? What are the object level details? And of course, in instant insight of cost from the GL account. So based on GL account, it is completely designed on GL account. Previous one was used to have completely on cost elements. Benefits. So universal allocation, one architecture, you, you merge everything. You have GL, profit center accounting, cost center accounting, uh, COPA, subsidiary ledger, intercompany. You merge everything into one. Combines actual and plan. It, it was never there. 
and now you can have what is my actual what is my plan simulation capabilities as i just explained currency breakdown as i just explained and of course traceability and simplifies the process so if you see on the right hand side all these blue boxes are combined into one universal allocation and universal allocation will not initially cover activity and settlement which is still on the product roadmap so that's as for hana this is the end to end process flow uh, being taken from a standard sap building blocks so you can say right from a template upload uh, template for file upload we import the file of you know what is my template we prepare the key file for key statistical fee figure key figures which is of course numerous and then we import that then we put uh, you know all other create allocation groups or run allocation and then we can see the data and it is generally i exercise at the period end or the month end complete today all this process is managed by a fiori apps you have a process you have a fiori app for manage statistical key figures import statistical key figures and enter statistical key figures to manage and run allocations you have different fiori apps two apps one for manage one for run and for uh, one is for allocation result you want to see what is my result after uh, running the allocation so from one app you run one app you manage one app you run and the third app you see the results if you see the sensefin scenario it is more simplified that's why i said it is closely connected to cfin because currently you are doing this activity in different ecc systems tomorrow you can replicate all that data into one s4 system and then you run this allocation into one system so rather than you run in five you have a central system you run and you have a central visibility consolidated visibility uh, of what is happening in your let's say five systems represent five business units or you does represent five different legal entities because you have built up because of mergers and acquisitions so that's why it is closely connected to cfin and uh, it gives that advantage that you have a simplified view one architecture because now everything is in sitting in ac docker table uh, so at the end universal allocation is a very um, robust functionality a very important management reporting tool uh, which gives management to take in strategic decisions Uh, based on you know how using the existing data which is sitting residing in the system that's all for today uh, i would say keep liking subscribing and viewing the channel any questions you have feel free to post it on the youtube uh, comment section happy to take those up and uh, i will come back with more videos uh, very soon thank you so much and stay safe